Trains have left a trail of destruction here in Gomazi and in some parts of Mpumalanga we have seen farmers actually saying that their farms have been flooded with water, communities have been flooded with water, people have also been actually been evacuated to a place of safety due to the rain that has actually flooded this part of Mpumazi. Mpumazi is one of the affected uh, municipalities in, Mpum, um, in Mpumalanga. Mpumbela is also affected and also we have seen Bushback Ridge also being affected. Transnet also released a statement saying that their uh, railway line have also been affected especially in the northern part of uh, uh, the northern part of uh, corridor saying that uh, between uh, Mbombela and Komati port that railway line have also been disrupted meaning that coal and other uh, chrome and other minerals cannot be transported to, to neighboring countries uh, especially towards uh, Mozambique and also to, to, to Eswatini but let's speak to the municipality spokesperson here in Gomazi, Mr. Cyril Ripinga Cyril just talk to us about the extent of the damages that we have seen here in Gomazi just speak to us about that and also the number of people that have gone missing so far and those so far that have uh, actually died. Well, it's a very diffi difficult situation that we are experiencing in Gomazi. The whole of Gomazi is badly affected. Road infrastructure has been badly damaged. Bridges uh, have submerged. Uh, it is difficult for other communities to access services from the municipality and the municipality can also not be able to reach some of the community to the communities uh, however we are using the defense force uh, chopper to reach some of these communities uh, we are receiving help for, uh, from a number of uh, sector departments uh, because the situation is uh, very 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 bad uh, the number of people who are still missing is three now we have recovered one person who was missing but unfortunately he passed on and another person was electrocuted due to these heavy rains that uh, we were experiencing in Komaze. Uh, we are st still trying our best but unfortunately as it stands now uh, we have been warned that it, the rain may, 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 be, may be coming soon so this will disrupt our activities to ensure that people get uh, our services. And also we know that the, the rescue mission had to be called off yesterday due to heavy rains. Are there those rescue people, especially the divers back on the, in, in some of these dams to actually start looking for these three people that are believed to have drowned? Yes, uh, police divers are still around. Yesterday they had to call off that operation unfortunately because of the heavy rains but today because the rain has subsided for now uh, they have resumed with their activities we are hopeful that we will uh, find those who are still missing so that their families can have closure in this regard however we still appeal to communities to ensure that children stay away from streams dams and rivers and also not to cross these rivers that are covered with water because it is very very dangerous Repinga, just talk to us about we know that some we we know it's, uh, it's hard to access some of these villages, but we know there are three villages that are inaccessible at all. You guys have not been able to reach them. How are you guys able to reach those communities? And also, how are you guys going to be able to help those communities? Because they need help. And also talk to us about the people that have also been taken to place of safety, because we know that some people have been removed from their houses because they might those houses might collapse. Yes, there are a number of villages that are not accessible. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot reach them. Uh, but we are uh, looking forward today uh, to, to, to go there using the chopper from the Defence Force so that they can be able to get bread and other necessities. Uh, last night we had to evacuate uh, about 28 people to a place of safety because we found out that where they are staying is very risky and it was flooding. Uh, they are still alive. We have met with them this morning and they are, are, are going to be there for a while up until uh, we, we, we inform them that, that it is now safe for them to return to where they are staying. I know you can't quantify this in money value, especially with the road infrastructure, the, the bridges that have been damaged uh, and also the kids that cannot go to school uh, because of the, the, the roads that have been damaged. But if you can quantify uh, how much money do you think the municipality is going to need to to make sure that they they rebuild? Well, it is very difficult to thumbsack because the extent of the damage is very huge. Almost everything in Gomazi has collapsed, particularly the infrastructure. Uh, another hospital also was flooded. Uh, police stations were flooded. Clinics were flooded. Some of the schools uh, are also badly damaged. The road infrastructure is bad. So, so it's difficult for now to quantify in terms of the monetary value and the, the, the extent of the damage. Ripinga, thank you so much for speaking to us. That was Cyril Ripinga speaking for the Gomazi uh, municipality but also we can tell you that actually at the um 
the Kruger National Park. Some of the gates have already been closed. Some of the roads there inside the Kruger Park have already been closed. So they are also advising people that are going to be visiting the park to to ensure that they uh, they contact the, the the park to 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 know which gate they can actually access and also which road can be accessible for them to access those roads. Here in Nkomazi, the situation is dire.